Babel fees are a really interesting mechanism and it allows you to use a different token other than ADA to pay for your transaction fees or completely remove them altogether and just use your native token that you're trying to move around from wallet to wallet. So getting rid of that transaction fee is really beneficial when and if the price of ADA climbs up to really high price. Imagine if ADA hit $10 and you're paying 0.15 ADA for every transaction that you're moving, it will add up. Furthermore, when you're moving a Cardano asset such as MIN tokens or Sunday tokens or NFTs, you also have to move some ADA with it. It's that ADA deposit that you have to move in order to transfer that particular token. And that's there so you're not spamming the network with all these tokens and clogging it up. So in comes those Babel fees to allow you to do those swaps and trades without sending that ADA directly from your wallet to another. Now, Myth is one platform that has put this together and they've got a little demonstration here using the Kadana Press WAPU. So we're giving one away at the moment in their raffle, but you can interact with their application here and buy a raffle ticket using only Mint token. And I'll demonstrate this now for you so you can see exactly how it works. So now I've got my wallet loaded up with some Mint tokens. You can see the uh, 36 Mint tokens there. If you don't have any, you can jump over to Dex Hunter and do a swap for it. It's fairly cheap at the moment. Uh, so 10 ADA will get you 38 mint tokens. But you can come back to the platform here and I'm gonna just buy one raffle ticket. I'm gonna click enter. Now this will generate a transaction for me and this is a really unique and interesting transaction. I'll show you how this one works. So from my side on the wallet, you can see no ADA is leaving the wallet. But if you look at the actual transaction itself, it's doing all sorts of things here. So the very first one here, uh, the first address here, that is from me and the mint is leaving my wallet. The second address here, there's another 200 mint. Interesting. Okay, I'll show you this on the Explorer so you can see how it all looks. But let me just sign this transaction. And there we go. So I've now purchased another raffle ticket and I'm in the draw to win my own Kadana Press uh, Wapu NFT. Hopefully I don't win it. I want someone else to win it. So if you have a look at the transaction itself, it's a multi-sig transaction. That means there's multiple parties here signing this transaction where you're one of them. And if we have a look at Cardano scan, we can see what's actually happening here. So this is that 200 mint that you saw a little bit earlier uh, when I was doing the transaction. And we also see that 10 ADA was spent from that address. Now this one here, this is my address here. And you, now you can see no ADA was received or sent from my address. That's what you could see in the transaction. But here we could actually see the mint token being sent from that particular address. Okay, interesting. And now you can see two more addresses down here. So these are the two receiving addresses for this asset. We can see 1.185 ADA had been moved and that 10 mint token that I moved. So this address up here actually paid for the ADA transaction fee. So it paid for the transaction fee and the amount of ADA deposit required to move that mint token as well. And the remaining tokens went to this other stake address here. So I believe these two stake addresses are owned by the mint protocol. This one is also owned by the mint protocol where it's funding the transaction. And this address here is mine where my assets are coming from. So they're doing this with multi-sig transactions. And I thought that was really clever. I had seen this somewhere else before, but having it implemented on a nice usable interface with something interactive that that's a little bit interesting as well, I think is an absolute winner. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about Babel fees. Maybe there's some other use cases for this, such as maybe using USD, a stable coin, to pay for various transactions like this raffle. So you don't have to use your ADA for it, you can use a stable asset. That's a really cool idea. If you don't know about Mint, you can check out their website. Their main product is to be able to do cross-chain swaps from Cardano over to other chains. At the moment, they're doing IUSD swaps over for USDT on Tron. Now, if you're wondering how this all works, they've got an FAQ and documentation that breaks down how the platform works with their cross-chain swaps. It's fairly interesting. Have a little bit of a read through the documentation if you want to find out more. I'll get an interview with the team as well in the future so we can learn a little bit more about their platform, what their plans are for the future, 
and how they're going to implement Babel fees on other parts of the Cardano ecosystem so that you guys can do swaps, trades, whatever it is without using your ADA assets. Now, if you really enjoyed this content, please consider giving me a thumbs up, click subscribe, click that notification bell down there as well. Lots more Cardano related content. There is so much happening at the moment. Absolutely love what the teams and developers and creatives are all putting together on the ecosystem. I'm waiting for this DeFi summer. Looking forward to it. I'll see you in the next video.